My topic uh, is implant-based, and I thought it was a perfect lead-in uh, Nicola gave us uh, in terms of the thinking uh, when retaining teeth and when uh, putting implants in. The cases I talk about are those where the teeth uh, often are gone be because of trauma, and the only option you have to make those long-span bridges or use implants uh, in between, and that uh, comes with some difficulty uh, in the uh, area. Now I have to find out where I click. Which one is it? Ah, thank you very much. Many tools. First of all, I want to bring you greetings from Boston. I know many of you have been there. Uh, and it's so much similarity, at least when you come into the harbor uh, to Sydney, uh, that it's hard to pick which one does one like better. I think it's always nice to go away. So when you come into Sydney for us, it was, boy, we could live here as well. This is just gorgeous. Uh, and uh, fortunately, this time of the year, this is about the weather we have, and you see the boats in the harbor, whereas over here it's a bit uh, cooler, still boats in the harbor. As you know, that I left a few years ago uh, from uh, what used to be my hub for a long time in Boston, uh, Harvard, uh, to get to a real big dental school uh, in town, that's Tufts. Uh, we have 180 dental students per year there, so it's quite a factory. Uh, but a lot, it's a great clinical school, and I thought I wanted to maybe, uh, you know, apply my, t uh, my tools as a manager I learned in that small unit, Harvard, uh, and thought I, uh, I had gotten to a stage in my life where I, liked, where I liked administration a bit more. So I do a lot of administration, but also in a beautiful facility, downtown Boston, uh, at the entrance to Chinatown, and the school has uh, just before I came, not because of me, but they added five floors, which are beautiful floors uh, with uh, also continuing education rooms, uh, as you see here, uh, very contemporary.